at least something to be done on fuel prices because it has an impact across the board. I also expect this, uh, this budget to address the biggest problem my constituency faces and that is water. Certainly if I don't get something on water, hear something big on water, I will be very, very disappointed. And so is my road from Barara to Chikagate. I, I, infrastructure generally. We need to see more money allocated to electrification because it has a lot it comes with, employment, use enterprise and everything like that. We need to see more money allocated to water. You know, water is life. So we need to see more money in rural health growth centers allocated for, for some of these facilities. We also need to see health facilities equipped. For us in Rwampara, for instance, we have four health centers, three health centers for us. But most of them are not equipped. They have no personnel. They have no medical equipment. Government now cannot build industries. But we have to look for investors who can put up industries that can create job creation. But the way to go is small-scale industries. So if we have these small-scale industries, which I think is going to be a highlight in this budget, government is now putting more emphasis on small-scale industries that can employ more people. We need to bring these small-scale industries to areas like Jinja to create more jobs. And this should be a highlight in today's budget. So we expect to see a bigger, bigger fund allocated to small-scale industries. Most of the UPE schools have never had a facelift. In some areas, like in my constituency, toilets are falling in. Uh, classes are down. My interest in this budget, I want to see UPE getting more funds. As we talk now, a UPE child is getting 2,000 shillings per term. That's an equivalent of one bottle of beer per child. But this child in a rural area is competing with one from Green Hill, who is paying 800,000 per term. So I want the government to increase the capitation grant for UPE. Secondly, buildings cannot perform with these teachers. The, the president has talked about hardship allowance. All teachers need hardship allowance. Why? A teacher in Kampala is earning 260,000, uh, that's his salary, but he's sleeping in a house of 120,000. He uses transport every day. So I'm expecting the government to increase teachers' salaries, at least the mi minimum of 500, because of the increasing factors of demand and supply. And if it fails, I will call a press conference and we'll ask them to sit down and meet the president, as I did in 2004, because I've ever done it. It's very important that our government empowers Ugandans in terms of access to finances. The financial sector is very, uh, in the, it's very inaccessible for many Ugandans to transact business. So we need to help Ugandans to be able to access investment finance so that they're able to compete and invest in East Africa looking into the convertibility and the convertible of the, of the currency within the five countries to ease the cost of doing business in East Africa. I would like to make a very strong proposal, and I'm actually preparing a concept, that we, Uganda has come of time to prepare an upper house, a senate for people like who are elders who can move on to the next level to advise Uganda so that parliament remains for people that are work, with full of energy and that are more accountable because even as the NRM manifesto says, ours is one for service delivery. Rwanda and Burundi have seen it, so I would like to call upon our leaders in Uganda that we should move that way. One thing which we have as our cardinal principle is to have a pro-people budget. A pro-people budget which takes into account the feelings of the people. If I were in a government, this will be the time for me to focus first and foremost on service delivery. When I talk of service delivery, I'm talking about health delivery services, I'm talking about education, I'm talking about improving the infrastructure as a, a means, as a vessel through which uh, people will be able to transport goods and services for, 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 for business. Then I will also look into uh, the issue of agriculture.